Thank you, Father. Thank you, Ishint of this. Thank you, Lily of the Valley. Thank you, Bright and Morning Star. I am that I am. I worship you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for another beautiful night like tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For tonight is the night that the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Lord. Blessed be your name. Hallowed be your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For tonight is the night that the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it in the victorious name of Jesus. Thank you, I am that I am. Come and perfect that which concerns us tonight. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I worship your name. Lord, I exalt your holy name. I give you glory, honor, power, and majesty. In the name of Jesus, thank you, O oh God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. For eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord has in stock for us tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for tonight, O oh God, lives shall be transformed in the victorious name of Jesus. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, Lily of the Valley. Thank you, Bright and Morning Star. You are so good. 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 My Lord Jesus, you are good. You are good. You are good. My Lord Jesus, you are good. You are good. You are good. You are so 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 kind. You are so nice. You are so good. You are so good. My Ashadai, you are good. You are good. You are good. Jehovah Jireh, you are good. Jehovah Nisi, you are good. I am that I am. You are good, you are good, you are good, El Shaddai, Lord. You are good, Jehovah Jireh. You are good, Jehovah Nisi. You are good, I am that I am. You are good, you are so good. You are so good. You are so good. You are so good. You are so kind. You are so good. You are so good. You are so good. My Shaddai. You are good, Jehovah Jireh. You are good, Jehovah Nisi. You are good, Jehovah Sikinu. You are good, I am that I am. You are good, you are good, you are good. Thank you, Jesus, Lord, we worship you tonight. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. We bow then before your throne tonight to say, Igwe, 
Thank you, Lord God, because if not you on our side, where would we have been? For many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord God delivered them all. Thank you, Lord God, for delivering us from the hands of the wicked ones. Thank you, Lord, for saying no to every plans of the wicked ones. Blessed be your name tonight and forevermore. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah, I greet you all in the name of the Lord tonight. Glory be to Jesus, you welcome to the platform tonight. Hallelujah, may the Lord bless us tonight, may the Lord hear our prayers tonight. May we not pray amiss tonight, may we not ask amiss tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus, please I want you to share and invite tonight. For tonight is the night that the Lord has made that we will rejoice and be glad in it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Invite your friends. Invite your family members. Invite the different groups you belong to. Who knows whom the Lord will touch tonight. Hallelujah. It is one night with Jesus. It is another night with Jesus. It is one hour with Jesus as well. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Why not invite tonight? I don't know if you've told somebody about the love of Jesus Christ today. I want you to know that it is not too late. It is not too late. You can still tell somebody tonight that Jesus loves you. You can encourage somebody tonight to pray. Hallelujah. Why not stop that man from dying in his sin? Why not stop that woman from dying in her sin? Glory be to Jesus. Why not encourage that woman that is crying right now, rolling from one edge of her bed to the other? Why not give hope to that man that think all hope is lost? By waking him up tonight to pray. By waking her up tonight to pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am inviting, I am sharing. Glory to Jesus. You might be the person the Lord will visit tonight. I might be the person the Lord will visit tonight. That person in your contact might be the person the Lord will visit tonight. He said, I will have mercy on whom I have decided to have mercy on. Why not invite tonight? Invite tonight and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. My Abba, oh, my Abba. My Abba, oh, my Abba. There is something that makes me come into your presence tonight. My Abba, my Abba, oh, my Abba. My Abba, oh, my Abba. There is something that makes me come into your presence, my Abba, my Abba, oh, my Abba, my Abba, oh, my Abba. There is something that makes us come into your presence tonight. I pray, I pray, oh, I pray, I pray, oh, I pray, I pray. There is something that makes us to come into Your presence tonight. I pray, I pray. Your goodness just makes us. To come into your presence tonight, our helper. Ah, your healing power just make us to come into your presence tonight, our helper. I help oh, I help There is something that makes us come into your presence. I thank you, Holy Spirit. Your faithfulness just makes us 
Come into your presence tonight, our helper. <laughs> your loving kindness just makes us come into your presence tonight, our helper. I help, oh, I help. There is something that makes us to come into your presence tonight, our helper. Your message just makes us to come into your presence tonight, our helper. Your goodness just makes us Come into your presence tonight, our help, our help, our help, There is something that makes us to run into your presence tonight, our help. There is something that makes us to come into the platform tonight, our helper. Your greatness just makes us to come into the platform tonight, our helper. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. Glory to the Lord. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. I appreciate God. On your behalf tonight, I appreciate God for my life. I appreciate God for your life. I want to thank God for our lives tonight because I know that the Lord will be visiting every man present in the platform tonight. He will be visiting every woman, every youth present in the platform tonight in the name of Jesus. We are not going back the same way we have come here tonight. That thing that made us to stand up at those middle of the night that thing that made us to leave our comfort zone at this time of the night, that miracle we are expecting from God, that touch we are expecting from God, that transformation we are expecting from God, my prayer for us tonight is the Lord will give it to us in the victorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. If tonight is your first night of joining this online prayers, you are welcome in the victorious name of Jesus. I want you to know that you didn't make a mistake by coming out tonight to join the online prayers. Hallelujah. This is Epoch, interdenominational prayer platform of truth, where the truth is being said any time, any day, where we look unto Jesus as the author and the finisher of our faith, where we trust and believe in the Lord because he is the one that can kill and bring alive. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. You are in the right place with the right people at the right time with the right God. Hallelujah, you are with the right God tonight. And the right God will do something tangible in your life, in your family, in your home, in the victorious name of Jesus. Please, this is a group. It is a group. It is not a church. We don't preach of church in this group. We don't invite people to our church. We neither do we invite people to anybody or to any church. We invite people to Jesus. We invite people to heaven. Hallelujah. The purpose of this group is to despopulate the kingdom of darkness and populate the kingdom of God. It is not about us. It is not about you. It is not about title. It is not about what you carry. It is not about what you have. It is not about what we have. It is not about what we carry. It is not about certificate in this platform. It is not about title in this platform. It is about Jesus. It is about Jesus. It is about Jesus. Jesus or no one else in this platform. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that Jesus, that Jesus will give us that thing that penetrates in our heart in the name of Jesus. That long time heart expectation. That long time dream. That long time vision. We have been expecting to come to reality. After tonight, I pray the original God 
will bring our positive dreams, our positive our desires to come to pass in the victorious name of Jesus. Please, I want you to know that in this group, we don't talk of money, we don't beg money, we don't contribute money to keep in one place or contribute money to give to, to somebody. Hallelujah. And we don't send account number to people to pay in money. To contribute money. Hallelujah. The platform is not an hustling plus platform. We don't hustle in this group. It is not an hustling platform. It is a platform for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In this group, we don't talk of money. Money is not the ultimate. Hallelujah. Jesus is the ultimate. Glory be to Jesus. And it is not a special group. It is not a special group. It is an open group. That you are free to come in and pray any time, any day between the hours of 12 and 1 as the Holy Spirit will lead. We are here every day as Jesus will permit. Hallelujah. Between the hours of 12 and 1 in the night, every night. It is one hour with Jesus. It is one hour with Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless us tonight. May the Lord hear our prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus. I greet you, I greet you. Good evening, good evening, good evening, Kelly Smith. Good evening in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, how was your day today? Glory be to Jesus, I believe it was great. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm happy to see you tonight. In the platform glory be to Jesus I might not be able to mention names tonight all the names tonight hallelujah <clears throat> glory brother Biodu, God bless you tonight hallelujah brother Ed Edosa God bless you tonight hallelujah glory Ekato, God bless you tonight brother Ben God bless you tonight God bless you tonight in the name of Jesus. Please, if I didn't mention your name, heaven knows you are here tonight and heaven is ready to give you the package that befits you tonight. In the victorious name of Jesus, in the victorious name of Jesus, I want you to know that you are special. You are special, not just for tonight, but forevermore, you will remain special. In the victorious name of Jesus, please, if you have not invited, I want you to invite I want you to invite tonight and share with your friends, share with your friends, invite the different groups you belong to, invite the different groups you belong to, invite people, share with people, hallelujah, hallelujah, don't forget, he that winneth his soul is wise, thank God we are wise tonight, that is why we are here, we are wise people, that is why we are here. Or the minding others are sleeping at this time, but we deemed it necessary to come to the presence of the Lord tonight to appreciate his goodness in our lives and in our home. It shows we are wise. Hallelujah. Why not invite? Why not invite souls tonight? Why not win a soul for Jesus tonight? Why not win a soul for Jesus tonight? Why not win a soul for Jesus tonight? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If we can invite and share, I tell you, there are blessings that goes with soul winners. Don't forget, don't forget, depends on how many souls we win. That depends also on the stars that will be on our crown on the last day. It will depend on the stars that will be on our crown on the last day. Why not decide tonight to say, Lord, I want to have a lot of stars on my crown. I want to have a lot of stars on my crown. Hallelujah. Save a soul. Save a soul. Save a soul tonight. Save a soul. I have invited. I have shared. I will not be left behind. Hallelujah to Jesus. Hallelujah to Jesus. Glory, 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 glory. Please begin to wave your hands to Jesus tonight. Wave your hands to Jesus. We want to appreciate God tonight. People of God present in the platform tonight that will be watching after this live broadcast. I want you to know tonight that it is not because we are too good that the Lord made us to be present tonight. It is not because we are too righteous. It is not because we are too holy. It is not because we are too rich. It is not because we are too connected. 
It is not because we are too beautiful, not because we are too handsome. It is the message of the Lord that brought us to the platform today. It is the message of the Lord that brought us to the platform tonight. Listen to me, people of God. A lot of people want to pray tonight, but they cannot pray. Hallelujah, they cannot pray. It's either they are discouraged or they are frustrated. Uh, or they are depressed. Hallelujah. Or they are sick. A lot of people are rolling from one edge of bed to another right now. A lot of people are just telling God, oh God, take my life. I don't want to live anymore. I don't want to live anymore. Hallelujah. But glory be to God for your life and glory be to God for my life. Who made us, who brought us to the platform tonight to appreciate him. Listen to me. If we can appreciate God tonight, he will give us the grace to appreciate him again and again. He will give us the grace to appreciate him till the last day of this year. He will give us the grace to appreciate him, to shout hallelujah, to enter the new year. I tell you, not just entering the new year, the grace will be given to us to continue the year, to live till Jesus will come. Why not lift up your hands tonight? Why not lift up your hands tonight and begin to say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, Lord, I worship you tonight. Say, Lord, I adore you tonight. Say, Lord, I thank you. Thank him for your life. Thank the Lord for your family. Thank the Lord for your home. Thank the Lord for your environment. Thank the Lord for your friends. Thank the Lord for your ministry tonight. Thank the Lord for the life of your church members. Thank the Lord for your business. Thank the Lord for your home. Thank the Lord for the life of your children for the life of your husband, for the life of your wife. Begin to thank the Lord for the journey so far. The Lord saw us through from January till today. He saw us through from January till today, being the fifth day, being the fifth day of December. 2019. This is God in action. I tell you people of God, a lot of people lost their life during the year. A lot of people lost their lives during the year. A lot of people were disabled during the year. But glory be to Jesus that kept us, that kept us, that kept us till now. Glory be to the Lord that always stand at an attention to say no to every plans of the wicked ones. The Lord always say no to their works. The Lord always say no to their manipulation. Ah, why not say, Lord, thank you. Listen to me, people of God. Mercy, mercy always say no when the devil will raise up his ugly head. Mercy always say no. Mercy always say no. Why not say, Lord, I thank you. Don't forget when you were sick, the Lord healed you. Don't forget the Lord rescued you from accident. Don't forget the Lord healed your children. Don't forget the Lord saved you. He saved you from the hands of armed robber. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget all that the Lord has been doing for you. Don't forget. Why not say Lord, thank you. Why not say Lord, thank you. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. He is the reason why we are living people of God. He is the reason why we are present in this platform tonight. Say, Lord, thank you. Say, Lord, thank you. If you want to appreciate him tonight in your language, please do so. The Lord understands all languages. He understands all languages. That is why he's God. That is why he's God. Lord, I thank you tonight. Lord, I worship you tonight. Lord, I exalt your name tonight. For whom you are, blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, thank you for all you have done for me. Thank you for all you have done in my family. Thank you for all you have done in my home. Thank you for all you have done in this platform. Thank you for all you have done, oh God, in my ministry. Thank you for all you have done in my business and in my work. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. People of God, if not the Lord on your side, where would you have been? If not the Lord on my side, where would I have been? For many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord God delivered them all. The Lord God delivered them all. The Lord God delivered them all. Why not say Jesus? 
Jesus. Why not say why say Baba? Why not say na go de Allah? Why not say thank you shun God? Why not say why say why say why say why say ah Jesus? Thank you. Ancient of this, thank you. Lily of the valley, thank you. In the name of Jesus, why not thank God tonight? Thank the Lord tonight. Thank the Lord tonight. Thank the Lord tonight. In the name of Jesus, listen to me, people of God. The year, the year has come and the year is almost ending. Why not say, Lord? Why not say, Lord, 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 Lord? Keep me till the end of this year. Keep me, oh God. Keep me, oh God, till the end of this year. Listen to me. The God we serve is not a God of abandoned project. When he starts, he finishes. The God that kept you till this time, he will keep you. He will keep you till the end of this year. Why not begin to appreciate him in advance? Why not begin to thank him in advance? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I worship you. Lord, I exalt your name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, oh God, because I know that you that have been begun a good thing in our lives so God in this platform you will perfect it you will perfect it you will perfect it in the name of Jesus thank you because of God we shall see the end of this year we shall see the end of this year in the name of Jesus we have come tonight to thank you for what you have done we have come tonight to thank you for what you are about to do for eyes have not seen ears have not heard what the Lord has in store for us why not pray tonight why not thank him tonight? Thank him tonight. Thank him tonight. Thank him tonight. For the Lord is so good and his mercies endure it forevermore. The Lord is so good and his mercies endure it forevermore. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He has been good to you. He has been good to me. He has been good to us. Ah, Jesus, thank you. Jesus, thank you. Thank him for your going out and your coming in today. Thank him for the food, the water, the air you breathe today, the ground you march today. Thank him. Begin to thank him on behalf of your children, people of God. Thank him on behalf of your children. Thank him on behalf of your children. Thank him for not allowing the devil to snatch your children away from you. Begin to thank him. A lot of children went out today. They couldn't come in. Your children went out today. The Lord gave them the grace to come in. Why not say, Lord, thank you? Why not say, Lord, thank you? I tell you, a lot of mothers, a lot of fathers, they are in the hospitals right now, sitting beside their children, begging the Lord, begging the Lord to give their children one more chance to live, to give their child one more chance to live. But glory be to Jesus, glory be to Jehovah, who kept our children. Why not say, Lord, thank you? Why not say, Lord, thank you? Why not say, Lord, thank you? Listening to me, people of God present tonight, the Lord take the light in appreciation. He takes the light in appreciation. When Jesus healed the ten lepers, only one came to say thank you. Jesus looked at him and said, we are deny. We are deny. Which means appreciation is very necessary in the presence of Jesus. In the presence of the Lord. Why not thank him? I tell you, I tell you, if you thank him tonight, if you thank him tonight, you will live to thank him again. No evil arrow of death will be able to penetrate your life to take your life because the Lord knows that the dead cannot appreciate him. Only the living can appreciate him. So therefore, if we can thank him tonight, the grace will be given to us to live tomorrow, to live till Jesus will come so that we will thank him again and again and again and again. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, O oh God, for the life of my children. Thank you. Thank you. They went out today. They come in. This is you in action, oh God. You have done this. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you for the food I ate today, the water I drank, the air I breathed in, the ground I mashed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, Lily of the Valley. Thank you, bright and morning star. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. At this time, I want us to go to the mercy seat of Jesus and begin to ask for mercy tonight. Let's begin to ask for mercy. Say, Lord, in any way I sinned against you during the day today, knowing or unknowingly, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, wash me, oh God, put your hands on
on your head. Put your hands on your head. Say, Lord, wash me right from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. Say, Jesus, wash me with your blood. Wash me with your blood that I might be white as snow. In the name of Jesus, you might have sinned against him today through your looking, through your thoughts, through your feelings, through your dressing, ah, through your discussion. Open your mouth and say, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For he that breaketh the edge shall the snake bite. Say, Jesus, have mercy. Say, Jesus, have mercy. Say, Jesus, have mercy. Wash me tonight, O oh God. Make me to be white as now. Why not tell the Lord, say, Lord, I have come to your mercy seat tonight. I have come. I have come to reason with you. I have come to reason with you. I have come to reason with you. Papa, wash me. Papa, wash me. Papa, wash me. In the name of Jesus, if paraventure the trumpet should sound tonight, that we might be rapturable, that we might be rapturable, why not quickly, why not quickly beg for mercy tonight? For Jesus said, I will come like a thief in the night. He said, no man knoweth the time, no man knoweth the hour. People of God, the trumpet might sound tonight. The trumpet might sound while we are praying tonight. The trumpet might sound tonight. Why not quickly run to the mercy seat of Jesus and ask for mercy tonight? Lord, 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 I come to you tonight to rededicate my life. I come to you tonight to refire my spiritual life. I come to you tonight to renew my spirit. Ancient of days, wheresoever I have held against you. Lord, have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy, O oh God. Wash me with your blood, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. Look not on my sinful life tonight, but glorify your name through your son Jesus who died and the grave couldn't hold him. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ancient of days. Ancient of days. Have mercy, O oh God. Have mercy, O oh God. So that the serpent will not be able, O oh God, to bite us. So that the serpent will not be able to bite us in the name of Jesus. Begin to cover every part of your body tonight with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Cover every part of your body tonight with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, I cover every part of my body with your blood. In the name of Jesus, wheresoever I have opened mistakenly through my sin, any part of my body that is opened mistakenly through my sin, unknowingly or knowingly, oh God, I cover it tonight with your precious blood. I cover it tonight with your precious blood. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, in the victorious name of Jesus. Hallelujah. At this time, I want you to cover your environment, cover your house, cover your vicinity with the precious blood of Jesus Christ and place angels, place angels on guard tonight in the four corners of your house with blazing sword of fire to cut asunder every lucified forces, every satanic forces that want to come to oppress you after this one hour with Jesus, after after tonight prayers that still want to come and oppress you begin to pray tonight that angels with blazing sword of fire we consume them by fire in the name of Jesus they will be slaughtered tonight they will be slaughtered tonight in the name of Jesus that evil spirit that want to come and fight you tonight that masquerade that masquerade that want to come and pursue you tonight in the name of Jesus begin to pray begin to pray tonight say oh God tonight I declare it Tonight I declare it. Evil dream free. Evil dream free. Evil dream free. In the name of Jesus, begin to release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon every masquerade that want to come after tonight's prayer to pursue you. After tonight's prayer to pursue you, begin to release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Say, Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Consume that masquerade tonight. Consume that egugu tonight. In the name of Jesus, you masquerade. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. You masquerade. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the victorious name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father. Any evil power, any man, any woman that want to come and feed me after those prayers tonight in the dream. That want to come and give me food to eat tonight after those prayers. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray people of God. Open your mouth and 
begin to pray. Say, oh God, as I go to bed, after those prayers, I shall not eat in the dream. I shall not eat, drink in the dream. I shall not eat in the dream. I shall not eat in the dream. In the victorious name of Jesus, begin to release, release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon that man, upon that woman that want to prepare a palatable meal, a palatable meal for you to eat in the dream, a palatable meal for you to eat in the dream. The food you cannot see to eat in the day, you begin to eat it in the dream. Say by fire, by force. I shall not eat in the dream tonight. I shall not eat in the dream tonight. In the name of Jesus. Begin to render those hands that want to carry that food. Command those hands that want to carry that plate of palatable feed, food to come and give you in the dream to eat. Command those hands to be withered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Command those hands to be withered by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Ancient of days, ancient of days, I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon those hands, oh God, that want to carry that food to come and give me the dream tonight. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying tonight? Is somebody praying tonight? Say, My Father, my Father, as I go to bed, as I go to bed, after those prayers tonight, may I not have sex in the dream. Come against, come against every man that comes to lie down with you as a woman in the dream. Every Every man, every man, spiritual man, spiritual man that come to have sex with you in the dream. Release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon that man tonight. In the name of Jesus, release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Release the spirit, the spirit of weakness upon that spiritual man tonight. In the name of Jesus, weaken him tonight. Say, Lord, I weaken that man. I weaken that woman that come to have sex with me in the dream. That come to have sex with me in the dream. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, begin to pray tonight. Say, Lord, Lord, may that man, may that man be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost tonight. May that spirit woman be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost tonight. In the name of Jesus, there are some of you listening to me right now. Before you close your eyes, before you close your eyes, you see yourself having fun having fun in the dream you have fun all the time in the dream all the time in the dream begin to say oh god oh god i come against those demons listen to me the people that come to have fun with you in the dream they are not a normal people they are spirit they are spirit they are spirit and once they release inside of you you have problem you have problem in your womb you have problem in your stomach you have problem in your waist begin to say oh god God, Holy Ghost fire tonight. Holy Ghost fire tonight. In the name of Jesus. Upon that spiritual man. Upon that spiritual woman. That want to come and have sex with me tonight. In the name of Jesus. Say my body receive fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. When your body catch the fire of the Holy Ghost, no spirit man will come and lie down with you. No spirit woman will come and lie down with you. Begin to pray tonight. Say Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Take over my body. Take over my body. Take over my body. In the name of Jesus. Laba shigadabo. Rebozo when you find yourself in this type of situation, when you see yourself in this type of situation, you don't have urge anymore. Physically, you don't have urge. If you are a man, you don't have urge to make love with your wife. If you are a woman, you don't have urge. You don't have urge to make love with your husband. Because why? There is a spiritual man that comes to satisfy you in the dream. There is a spiritual woman that comes to satisfy you in the dream. Not knowing they are releasing. They are releasing satanic, satanic spam inside of you. Say by fire, by force. By fire, by force. Tonight, 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 tonight they shall not succeed. They shall not succeed. They shall not succeed. They shall not succeed. In the name of Jesus, say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, take over my life. 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 In the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah tonight. You are going to pray. You are going to pray. Every power, every spirit that come, that come to give you baby to carry in the dream. You carry baby in the dream. At times you see yourself in a, in a, in a sitting room with children. You start talking with children. You start playing with children in your dream. In your dream. And you are believing God for a child in the physical realm. But you dream all the time. You see yourself playing with children with a lot of children or you see yourself carrying a child breastfeeding a child somebody say holy ghost fire say holy ghost fire listen to me if you see yourself breastfeeding a baby in the dream you can never breastfeed physically you cannot breastfeed physically listen to me they are spiritual children coming from the river if you see yourself in a sitting room children surrounding you in the dream in the dream and physically you are believing God for children listen to me, listen to me the devil, the emirate powers have taken have taken your physical children to the spiritual realm, you cannot get them in the physical begin to say tonight, Holy Ghost fire Holy Ghost fire consume every spiritual child every spiritual child I have in the river, in the name of Jesus, say Holy Ghost fire consume them tonight, Holy Ghost fire consume them tonight, he in the name of Jesus, spiritual children, spiritual children, listen to me. Not until your spiritual children die, your physical children cannot come forth. Not until your spiritual children die, your physical children cannot come forth. Begin to kill them one by one tonight. Kill them one by one tonight. Listen to me. We are not to carry babies in the dream. We are to carry babies in the physical. We are not to breastfeed babies in the dream. We are to breastfeed babies in the physical. Begin to say, you power, you power, you demon, you emire powers that have taken my children spiritually, that have stopped my children spiritually not to come to physical. In the name of Jesus, receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. Receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, begin to say no tonight. Say no to spiritual children. Say no. Say no. Say no. Say no. In the name of Jesus, if you are believing God for the fruit of the womb tonight, begin to say no to spiritual children and say yes to physical children. Say yes to physical children. Say yes to physical children. In the name of Jesus, say I speak to my children. I speak to my children to come forth. To come forth. To come forth. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I refuse to play with children in the dream and physically I have no child to play with. I refuse to play with children in the dream and physically I have no child to play with. Say, oh God. Oh God. All good and perfect in comment from you. My father, my father. I need my physical children, oh God. I need my physical children, oh God. I need my physical children, oh God. In the victorious name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus, is somebody praying tonight? Is somebody praying tonight? Open your mouth and begin to say, Oh God, I cover the remaining days of this year with the blood of Jesus Christ. With the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth. Madagadari Gadaboshia. People of God, we have 26 more days to go. 26 more days to go, and then it is bye-bye forever to 2019. We have 26 more days to go, and then it is bye-bye. It is bye-bye forever to 2019. Why not say, oh God, I cover the remaining 26 days with the blood of Jesus Christ. No evil shall befall me. No evil shall befall my family. No evil shall befall my home. Why not begin to pray tonight, people? of God. Why not begin to pray tonight? Jesus, Jesus, I cover the remaining days of this year, oh God, with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover my family. I cover my home. I cover my ministry. I cover my business. I cover my work. I cover my environment. I cover my going out and my coming in with the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I cover the food I will eat in the remaining days of this year. I cover the water I will drink, the ground I will march in the remaining days of this year. Ancient of days, I cover with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover with the blood of Jesus Christ. Why not make use of the blood of Jesus tonight? Why not make use of the blood of Jesus tonight? For the blood of Jesus speaketh better things than the blood.
blood of goat than the blood of animals. Why not say, oh God, I use your blood tonight. I use your blood tonight. Libo shigada, rabada gada gada, intaba gadi bozo koto lebreye, maya ba sekete lebreke debo, riba shege debo riya basanda ya, inta gada gada bo riba shigada bo riya basanda ya. Close your ears tonight to evil news. Close your ears tonight. Close your ears tonight to evil news. Say, oh God, in the remaining days of this year, I close my ears to evil news. I close my ears to evil news. I shall not hear evil news. I shall not hear evil news. Evil news is not my portion. In the name of Jesus, open it tonight to good news. Say, good news come from the south, from the north, from the west, and from the east. Good news come. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Invite good news. Invite good news. Invite good news. In the victorious name of Jesus. Open your mouth tonight and begin to pray. Say, oh God, death shall not be brought into my house in the remaining days of this year. And death shall not be taken out of my house. In the name of Jesus. Is somebody praying tonight? Say, my father, my father, may death not be brought into my house in the remaining days of this year. May death not be taken out of my house in the name of Jesus say oh God as any member of my family goes out they are saved by the reason of those prayers tonight as any member of my as any member of my family comes in they are saved by the reason of those prayers tonight in the name of Jesus somebody say no to death say no to death say no to death say no to death in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus if you are in the platform tonight you drive you drive cover your vehicle with the blood of Jesus Christ say oh God may the devil not push any man that have been killed spiritually into my vehicle May the devil not push any woman, any child that have been killed, that have been slaughtered spiritually into my vehicle. In the name of Jesus, may I not fall a victim of circumstances. May I not fall a victim of circumstances. In the name of Jesus, is somebody praying tonight? Say, oh God, may I not fall a victim of circumstances. May I not fall a victim of circumstances. In the name of Jesus, any man, any woman, any youth, any child, that the kingdom of that this as eating as a meat. May they not push that person to my vehicle. May they not push that person to me in the name of Jesus. Say, oh God, I will not kill anyone with my vehicle. I will not die in the steering. I will not kill anyone with my vehicle. I will not die inside my vehicle. In the name of Jesus, may no one kill me in my car. I will not kill anyone on the road. May no one kill me in my car. I will not kill anyone on the road. In the name of Jesus, Jesus. Begin to cover your vehicle tonight with the blood of Jesus. Begin to cover your vehicle tonight with the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lord, I cover my vehicle with the blood of Jesus Christ. As I drive out, oh God, I drive in peace. As I drive in, oh God, I drive in peace. In the name of Jesus. May I not die in my vehicle. May I not kill anyone on the road. In the name of Jesus. I cover cover every part of my vehicle with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover the tire. I cover the gear. I cover the brake. I cover the engine. Oh God. I cover the clutch with the blood of Jesus. I cover, oh God, the tattoo with the blood of Jesus. Ancient of days. Come and have your way. Come and have your way in my life. Come and have your way in my home. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. At this time, open your mouth and say, Lord, when others are down, I will be up. When others are down, I will be up. When others are down, I I will be up in this season of celebration in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I will be up when others are down. I will be up when others are down. In the name of Jesus, tonight I want us to pray. I want us to pray for the sick in the hospital. Let's begin to pray that the Lord will discharge, that the Lord will discharge the sick in the hospital before Christmas. As many that are sick in the hospital, as many that are sick in the hospital, begin to release the healing power of the Lord. Release the healing power of Jesus to the 
hospital right now that the sick will receive their healing at this moment at this moment that we are praying let as many that are sick begin to receive their healing in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray for the sick people of God open your mouth and pray for the sick pray for that woman that is sick pray for that man that is sick pray for that youth pray for that child that is sick say oh God may your healing power may your healing power visit the hospital right now in the name of Jesus people of God there is no distance to miracle there is no distance to miracle begin to speak to them right now in the name of Jesus begin to discharge as many you can discharge tonight spiritually discharge 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 as many you can discharge tonight spiritually in the name of Jesus so that from tomorrow they will start going home they will start going home to their different homes in the name of Jesus oh God oh God yes Lord yes Lord begin to heal them Jesus I speak healing to that man I speak healing to that woman in the name of Jesus I speak healing to that youth I speak healing to that child at this time oh God at this time oh God let there be a difference 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus my father my father may the sick in the hospital celebrate their Christmas at home may they celebrate their Christmas at home may they celebrate their Christmas at home in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus is somebody praying tonight is somebody praying tonight are you praying tonight open your mouth and begin to pray for the salvation for as many that have not known Jesus listen to me people of God a lot of people are dying every day without knowing Jesus souls are perishing every day without knowing Jesus souls are dying every day without knowing Jesus why not say oh God I pray for that man I pray for that woman that have not known you pray for their salvation tonight pray for their salvation tonight say Lord I pray for the salvation of that man in my family of that woman in my family that have not known you why not intercede for them tonight why not intercede for them tonight so that they will not die in their sin so that they will not die in their sin Jesus I intercede for every member of my family that have not known you oh God I pray for their salvation tonight I pray for their salvation tonight may they know you and the power of your resurrection may they know you oh God and the power of your resurrection in the name of Jesus Christ amen Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, amen. I want you to say to yourself tonight, say, oh God, there shall not be lost in my family. Say, Lord, there shall not be lost in my life. Say, Lord, there shall not be lost in my church. There shall not be lost in my area. There shall not be lost in this platform. In the name of Jesus, say, oh God, I shall not lose any member of my family. I shall not lose my property. Begin to confess it. Begin to confess it tonight. Begin to confess it tonight. Listen to me. There is power in our tongue. There is power in our tongue. Just begin to walk around and say, Lord, I shall not lose any member of my family in the name of Jesus. I shall not lose any member of my home in the name of Jesus. I shall not lose my property in the name of Jesus. I shall not lose my connection in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, as the year is rolling away, I will not roll away with the year. I will not roll away with the year. No member of my family will roll away with the year. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we shall not roll away with the year. We shall not roll away with the year. We shall not roll away with the year. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, for in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. You welcome back tonight. You welcome back tonight in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God for the strength he gave to us to intercede. I want to thank God for you that is present tonight. I give God all the glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Don't forget, prayer is the key. Prayer is standing as a cutlass that we use to clear our bush whenever the road of our life is rough. Don't forget, prayers is standing as a cutlass that we use to make everything to be okay again. May the Lord hear our prayers tonight in the victorious name of Jesus. Please, if you have not known Jesus, you have not received him, I want you to receive him as your Lord and personal Savior. Don't forget. 
It is he that kept you from January till date. He is the one that will still keep you from now till the end of the year. Don't forget, don't forget, don't forget. Hallelujah. In case you have forgotten, he is the one that will make you to shout Happy New Year. Is somebody waiting for that day already? I am waiting. <laughs> are you waiting already? We are going to shout it. We are going to shout Happy New Year. As a matter of fact, just begin to say it spiritually. Just begin to say it in your heart, in your heart, in your heart. Hallelujah. Just begin to see yourself. Begin to say it in your heart. Say Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Hallelujah. Begin to say Happy New Year in advance. Happy New Year in advance. Happy Christmas in advance because I know that we are going to see that day. We will see that day no matter, no matter what, no matter the trials now, no matter the temptation, we are going to witness this year's Christmas in good health, in good health. We are going to cross over in good health in the name of Jesus. Just begin to wave your hands and say, thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus. Please, if you have not invited, you can still invite. If you've not shared, you can still share. Hallelujah. And if you have not subscribed to the Rita or Roberto YouTube channel, please do so. Do so and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Try to subscribe. The reason is... There, 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 you know, there, there is a number of, uh, of subscribers, you know, we should have so that we can be able to be coming out live on YouTube. Glory be to Jesus. So that more souls will be blessed and more souls will be lifted up. More lives will be saved. Hallelujah. It is about Jesus. It's not about us. So please try to subscribe. Try to subscribe. The link, the link is on Facebook. Just click on the link and then you'll be in the channel. You'll be in the, in the channel and then please you just click this, uh, the subscribe button and click the bell. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. It is a way of evangelism. It is a way of evangelism. Let us do it together. Let us do it together. Without you, this platform will not be. Hallelujah. Without me, this platform will not be. And without Jesus, without Jesus as our boss, the platform will not be. Hallelujah. Why not let us win souls together. May the Lord bless us tonight. Just begin to say, Lord, thank you. Say, Lord, thank you. Say, Lord, thank you. Say, Lord, thank you. Appreciate him tonight. Appreciate him tonight. Appreciate his mercies. Appreciate his goodness. Appreciate his love. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Take my hands, Jesus. Take my hands. Take my hands, oh Lord. Take my hands, oh Lord. Take my hands, oh Lord. Take my hands. I want to walk with you, Lord. Take my hands with you, Lord. I want to walk with you, oh Lord. Take my hands. Take my hands, oh Lord, take my hands, oh Lord, and break me, Lord, to the shape you want. Take my hands with you, take my hands, oh Lord, take my hands, I want to walk with you, Lord, please take my hands, take my hands. Take my hands, and Lord, take my hands, oh Lord, with you. Show me your way, show me your eyes, oh Lord. Show me your way, show me your eyes, oh Lord. Take my hands with you, take my hands with you, Lord. Take my hands with you, Lord, oh God. Break me, Lord, and mold me to the shape you want. Take my hands with you, Lord, oh God. Break me, Lord, and mold me to the shape you want. Take my hands with you, Lord, take my hands. 
etula bagade lege degede Tonight, we want to get into the realms of telling the Lord, take my hands with you. It is time we begin to know the ways and the acts of the Lord. Because when you get to a time and in a place in the realms of the Spirit, you begin to know that there is nothing in this world. There are things that are necessary to man, but in the presence of God, they are not necessary. I'd like you to know tonight that when you allow the Lord to take your hands, you see things around you not valuable anymore. You don't value anything around you, but rather you value God. You respect God and you keep His commandment. I'd like you to know the Bible says in everything that we undertake under the sun, we should put God first because all things are vanity as the Bible says, vanity or put vanity, they are all vanity. I'd like you to know this night that when God takes your hands, when he takes your hand, he will break you by himself and remove you to the shape that he wants you to be. Not the shape you want to be, but the shape he wants you to be. I'd like you to allow God to break those things around you tonight. When a man is broken, Things around him are molded. Listen to this. When man is broken, when man allows God to break him, everything around him are remolded. When you are not broken, I tell you, things around you remain broken. They remain shattered and scattered. But when God breaks you up, he will remove you and the things around you have no choice than to remove themselves. They begin to remove themselves. They begin to fall into shape. They begin to fall into pleasant places. Just as the Bible says, say, the line is falling onto me in pleasant places. Listen to me. Allow God to break you tonight. That we will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. Because they that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall always abide under the shadow of the Almighty. They will always abide. They will always be firm. They will always be sustained with the strength of God. They will always be pure. They will always be led by the Spirit of God. Let God take your hands tonight and lead you on this journey. The journey of life. You need God to take your hand so that he can take you along this road, along this journey of life, so that your life becomes smooth and your ways become smooth. Let God hold you by his hands tonight. Tonight, God showed me a scripture that I want us to look into together, that you will begin to see that it is very, very eminent, very paramount, that you allow God to dip his hands of love into your life. Because when he does so, things around you will shine for your good. Every dead thing in your life becomes alive. They have no choice that to pick up life. The Bible says God breathed into that man called Adam. And Adam became a living soul. In other words, before the breath of God came, he was a dead soul. Tonight, anything that will take you for you to allow God to breathe into you. For you to allow God to breathe into you. Let God do so. So that you can become a living soul. For when you are a living soul, things around you become living. And things around you that God has used you to perform and to make and to establish in this world will leave you. And people after your generation will remember you for all those things. Tonight, I want us to see the scripture together. The book of Psalm 34. Psalm 34. Let us look at verse 8. It said, O test and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. It said, Test, test, test. It said, Test, O test, O test and see that the Lord is good. Test and see that the Lord is good. The Lord is so good. Ah, he said, blessed is the man that trusted in him. The Bible says you should trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. For your understanding will limit you. Your understanding will also limit God. Not only limiting you, it will limit God. 
Because if you allow your understanding to rule you, you will be at root. I tell you, you will be ruled out of the track. You will be ruled out of life. You will be ruled out of the necessary things that need to manifest in your life. Because you are leaning on your understanding. In the secret place of God, there is nothing like certificate. In the secret place of God, coming into a secret place, there is nothing like I know it. Everything about us is humbled. And we come into a secret place just like that, the way we are. So that God could help us. Tonight is a night that God is sending his help to his children. All you need to do is to taste. It's a taste and see that the Lord is good. Verse 8, sorry, verse 9. He said, Oh, fear the Lord. Oh, fear the Lord. Ye is set, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lion do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. I urge you tonight to seek the Lord. Seek the presence of the Lord. Give him your heart. Open up your heart. For when a man opens the heart, allowing God to come in, he said he will come and dine. He will sup with such person. And such person will become related, relatively to God. In everything that he or she does, let God manifest his hand. Let God prove himself one more time through you. God is looking for a man to prove his wonders. God is looking for a man to show forth his proofs. Without a man, the proofs of God cannot be evident. God is looking for you, he's looking for me. That his proofs will be evident. God is looking for a man that the evidence of the gospel will be pronounced through him. That is God for you. In the Balagade, Lebro Godoboshala. God is not looking for iron, neither is he looking for trees. If he want to prove himself through trees, he would have used the trees he created. But he said, Let us make man in our image and likeness, meaning he want to perform his likeness of his image through you. He want to demonstrate his acts. He want to demonstrate his move. He want to show forth his proofs of being God in your life. He said he has made you, he has made me in his image. And the likeness of God, we are talking about the characteristics of God. We are talking about the likes of God. We are talking about the acts of God. We are talking about the personality and the supernatural being of his nature. We are talking about, he said, make man. Let us make man in our likeness and our image. The image of God is not idolatry. The image of God is the mercy and the manifestation of his grace. Listen to me tonight. Let God replenish you. Let God remold you. Let God rebrand you. Let God empty his glory in you. Let God. He said he breathed into a man and man became a living soul. Listen to me. The breath of God is what we need. When we take the breath of God, the world will wait for us. When we have the breath of God in us, we will be made compulsorily to, as a showroom that men will come in to watch, that men will come in to seek for help, and the glory of all will be given to God Almighty. Tonight, I want you to know there is something different about you that any other person doesn't have. There is something in you that makes you outstanding and unique. There is something in you that a man, a woman outside there does not have. God made us differently. God made us uniquely. God manifested himself and emptied something in us. Not until you seek his face, you cannot see what God has emptied inside of you. When God revealed himself, the word will be revealed to you. When God show forth, I tell you, the things of the devil will shut down. When God decides to show forth in your life, the activities of the evil one will be shut down. Whether the devil likes it or not tonight, the gates of hell are going to be shut down. In the name of Jesus, because of you, there is still God seated on his throne. And because there is still a throne, there is power to rule. 
anywhere there is a throne, there is dominion and power to rule. And because you are seated in the heavenly places with Christ, you are born to rule. You are born to reign. Listen to me. You cannot be stopped. No power can stop you. No forces can stop you. Because why? Your God is unstoppable. No power can stop your God. He is a moving train that crushes. He is a moving train that grinded, that grind things into hearts. Listen to me tonight. He said you were made and formed in his image and likeness. Listen, God is moving with his heart this day. It is time you know the heart of God and you know his ways. Know his ways and know the heart of God. Know the mind of God concerning your life. When you know the mind of God, you will not be minded. You will not be minded. You will never be minded. And you will not mind the things of the world that happens around you. Because why? Christ in you is the hope of glory. When Christ is in you, you always have a hope of tomorrow. You always have hope of seeing your tomorrow and manifesting your tomorrow. Listen to me, Christ is an evidence of the gospel. And when you have Christ in you, crises flee, crises disappear, and crises are eradicated from your life. Tonight, why not test? Why not test his love? Why not test his sweetness? Why not test his grace? Begin to ask God to do something concerning your life tonight. Begin to tell God, I need something that will prompt me to test from your love. God is out to attract you with his love. There is an attraction of love coming from God. Let God begin to make you something good. Let God prepare a table before you. And that is the enemy that has been troubling you. We see the goodness of God being prepared as a table before you. I tell you, they have no choice than to surrender to eat at your feet. Tonight there is a banquet that God has prepared. There is a table God has prepared for you and I, for your household and my household. We are going to sit right on that table. 2020 is a year of feasting with the Lord. 2020 is a year of dining with the Lord. 2020 is a year that we will commune with God in fellowship and we will begin to take his holy communions. And then the holy communions of God in us will make us more committed and commune with him better. Tonight is your night. Tonight is your day. Tonight is your season because I see God moving in his heart. I see God watching you and bringing out the things that need to go out of your life. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says, test and see that the Lord is good. The young lion do lack. The young lion do suffer hunger. The day that trust and wait upon the Lord, they shall suffer not good things. They shall lack not good things. Listen to me. You are not born to lack. You are not born to suffer. You are born to rule. For God has preserved you. For God has kept you till this time. If you would have died, it would have been a long time. If the devil would have been able to kill you, he would have killed you even before you came out from your mother's womb. But it is too late for him now. It is too late for the kingdom of darkness to stop you. No man stops the wind. No man stops the light. The light, when it flashes, no man can hold the light not to shine or not to flash. Listen to me. When it is time for the sun to shine, no man can say the sun must not shine. When it is time for the cock to crow, no man can tell the cock not to crow. But all these things are made in their own special ways and kind. God has made it so that when it is time for the sun to shine, it shines. When it is time for the cock to crow, it crows. When dog want to bark, it barks. Listen to me. It is your time to shine. The Bible says, arise. All you need to do is to arise. And when you take up the boost step of faith and you arise, I tell you, the Bible says you will shine. For you will be uplifted in the name of Jesus. One thing, don't lean on your understanding. Don't dwell on your understanding. For your understanding is nothing before God. You cannot understand God better until you are broken. You cannot follow God better. You cannot dwell in the secret place better until you forget that he is the one. He is the one until you forget, until you forget that he is the one, that he is the one that has rule 
I mean, until you realize and forget that the devil has no rule over you. And then you remember that God is the one that has the rules over your life. Not until you forget that the devil has no rule over you. God cannot bring you into the limelight of remembrance for your generation to remember you. Not until you forget that the devil has no command over your soul. Because the Bible says he has no power to make the string of your hair. A string out of your hair. He has no power to make just one. It is God that made all. It is God that created you in his glory and likeness. Tonight, I want you to know that you must forget that the enemy has the power over you. Forget it. Forget it. Because why? They have no power over you. The witches have no power over you. The wizards have no power over you. The emirates, the kingdom of darkness, have no power over you and your household. It is God. And you must always remember that you own all the duties to God. You own your breath to God. You own your strength to God. That is why the Bible says, You shall serve the Lord with your strength, with your soul, with your body, and with all your might, with your breath. Everything that you own must be used to serve the Lord. Tonight, I want you to see that God is seeing you. I want you to see that God is seeing you. And if God is seeing you, it means you will be put in the scene of this world. You will be put in the limelight. That is what I meant by sin. That you will be put to the scene. S-C-E-N-E. You will be placed in the forefront of the world that the world might see the glory of God, see the hand of God upon your life. When you are placed in the scene that God wants you to be, the sinfulness of this world can never locate you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I see God placing you in your palace. Hey, listen to me. Joseph never, never limit God. He kept on hoping on God. Listen, the man that treated Joseph badly, the brethren that treated Joseph badly, if they had known that he, is, he and his dream will come to limelight, will be fulfilled, they wouldn't have sold him. They wouldn't have sold him. They wouldn't have dumped him in the pit. They wouldn't have done all that to him. Listen to me, they would have treated him well. But undermining that, that wouldn't have gotten him to his destiny. He was treated badly so that he will be placed in his rightful track of destiny. Listen to me. The man in the prison that shaved the head of Joseph, that removed the hair, would have done better to please him and to worship him and to serve him if he had known that this man he's shaving his head will become the governor over his head, will become the governor, the second in command in his country. He wouldn't have been able to tolerate that. He wouldn't have been able to tell him, I sit down, I want to shave your head. No, he was shaven so that the glory of God could be revealed. Listen to me, even the chief buckler and the chief baker, they would have treated him, treated him well in the prison. Even the, 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 the boss wife, baker, the chief buckler's wife, that stripped him of his suit, of his coat of many colors, of his garment, she wouldn't have done that if he, she knew that Joseph would become the head over the husband, that Joseph would become the one ruling his husband, he wouldn't have done that. That is God for you. The art of God, the power of God. He can take a slave to become a governor. He can take a prisoner to rule in the palace. He can take a man in the pit and set him on the mountain top to rule and prevail. He can take a man that have no yesterday to have today. Listen to me. Your tomorrow is in the hands of God. God is watching. He is watching. He's listening to you. Not that he's dead. Not that he has forgotten you or forsaken you. He's just waiting for the right time for your praise to be shown forth. For your manifestation of dance to keep up, kick off. Tonight, I see you dancing. Of his holy name. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, I break every satanic embargoes. I break every satanic relationship in your life in the name of Jesus. Let God arise for your sake and for your family. Let God outshine the devil out of your life and shine more in your life in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the Lord 
is upon you. You shall be in the land of the living to prophesy through testimony the Lord's doing in your life. You shall not die before your time. Your glory shall not be snatched. Your glory shall not be snatched from you. Your glory shall not be adjacked from you. No man, no woman will have the audacity to stop you not to enter your promised land. In the name of Jesus, for the promised land are prepared for those that the Lord loveth. Tonight you are among the class of those that God loves. And God Almighty knows that you love him. So you must get into that promised land tonight. The Bible said they wandered for 40 years in the wilderness. But there was something unique about the 40 years of wandering. The Bible says their garment didn't fade off. Neither did their shoe worn out. Their garment didn't fade off. Neither did their shoe worn out. There was no store to buy new clothes. There was no store to buy new shoes. But God kept their garment. God kept their shoe. Meaning their glory was kept. And their shoes of praise for dancing was also kept. Listen to me. God is giving you the garment and the shoes of praise tonight. That you will not want them out. They will not be worn out. You will enter the promised land with that garment of glory. With the shoes of praise on your legs. In the name of Jesus. The Bible said they wandered for 40 years. But upon the wandering, they came into the land in style. A land flowing with milk and honey. I don't care the years you have been wondering. I don't care the time and the most years you've been waiting for your prayers to be answered. Listen to me. You are getting your answers from tonight. In the name of Jesus. You are getting your answers tonight. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says like the oil that flowed right from the head of Aaron to the beard to the apron. And listen. It shall be like the dew of the morning. That is what the Bible says. Listen to me tonight. When the glory of God come upon you, it shall look like a dew, the dew of heaven, the dew of power, the dew of his presence, the dew of his glory in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, and the tree moved, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. And Hosea saw, Isaiah saw the Lord, and King Hosea had to give up. Listen to me. I don't care the King Hosea that have been waiting for you, that have been hijacking your life, that have been stopping your glory. The Bible says, when Isaiah saw the Lord, King Hosea died. I command every Hosea in your family, every Hosea in your business, every Hosea that have been holding your ministry, every Hosea that will not allow your glory to shine, to give up their ghost tonight. They shall pay with their ghost tonight. They should, should give up their ghost tonight because why? The Lord is risen. The King of glory is stepping into the shoes. He's stepping into our case. He's stepping into our problems tonight. In the name of Jesus. The King Hosea you see yesterday, you shall see them no more. The Egyptians you saw yesterday, you shall see them no more. Herod you saw yesterday, you shall see him no more. Goliath you saw yesterday, you shall see him no more. For God will give you the strength we give you the power to cut off every head of Goliath in the name of Jesus. The Goliath might come to you with shield. He might come with spear. He might come with sword. But you will come to him in the name of the Lord. The name of God of Israel that conquers all power, that destroys all power. Tonight you will rule and reign in the midst of your enemies in the name of Jesus. The power that will be holding you will have no strength over you anymore. They shall see you and begin to run because you will carry unusual presence of God. You will carry the usual, unusual presence of God. You will carry the glory of God. You will carry the power of God. Listen to me. When it comes to the demonstration of power, it doesn't need your certificate. It needs the humbleness and the might and the move of God upon your life. And listen to me. God is about to move drastically in your life. He wants to move swiftly in your life. That you will begin to experience the supernatural touch. That men around you will feel the presence of God. That men around you will begin to testify on your behalf. That we have not seen it in this fashion before. That is what they told Jesus. They said, what manner of man is this? Even the wind and the, the storm, they obeyed him. The sea, they obeyed him. Listen to me. Listen to me. I tell you, the wind of life, the storm of life, 
they will obey you tonight. Because you carry God in you. You have the spirit of God in you. Tonight, I command every storm to come. I command every wind to come. In the name of Jesus. You are crossing over. That red sea that will be holding you. Listen to me. The Bible says when they got to the red sea, they began to fear. They began to wail. They began to cry. Listen to me. Until God sent Moses to them. And said, Moses, stretch what is in your hand, which is the rod. Listen to me. God is sending me to you as Moses tonight. Every red sea that you couldn't cross. As I join my faith with your faith, that red sea is parting into two tonight. I don't care the red sea. Your red sea could be marriage. Your red sea could be your papers. Your red sea could be your children. Your red sea could be a new business. Your red sea could be a new job. Tonight, God is crossing the red sea with us. We are crossing to the other side. We are crossing to the other side. The land where you will joyfully receive the testimony. The land where your blessings are waiting for you. We are crossing over in the name of Jesus. May the presence of God lead you. May the utterances of God through his word begin to give you understanding in the name of Jesus. That you will begin to stand tall in the midst of others. In the midst of your friends. You will become a sword. In the battlefield that will break all other swords. In the name of Jesus. The sword of the enemy shall not pierce you. The sword of the enemy shall not pierce you. The Bible says we are two edges sword in the hands of the Lord. For we are the battle hearts of God. We are battle hearts in his hands. Tonight the Lord will use us as weapons against the kingdom of darkness. Reasons. Your prayer life will be elevated. Your prayer life will be astounded. Your prayer altar will catch fire again. The altar of prayer will be resurrected again in your life. Your bones will be equipped with this fire. You will be filled with this fire and your bones will speak a fire. In the name of Jesus, you will carry fire in your bones. Your bones will carry fire. The Bible says that the fire of Elisha got into so much into his bones to the extent that when he died, and when he was buried, where he was buried, a man that died in the battle was thrown exactly at the same place. The fire in his bone got him up. The fire in his bone brought him back to life. Listen to me. You will carry unusual fire. Your appearance in an atmosphere, your appearance in a surrounding will make the enemy to flee. We make the enemy to disappear. In the name of Jesus, your appearance in an environment will cause chaos in the kingdom of darkness. Your utterances will bring, will bring trouble in the kingdom of darkness. Your statement, according to the word of the Lord, shall bring trouble into the kingdom of darkness. In the name of Jesus, your word cannot be stopped. Your word cannot be stopped. In our mouth, O oh God, your word can never be stopped. In our mouth, O oh God, tonight shall be a night of power. Tonight shall be a night of praise. Tonight shall be a night of demonstration of your word. Your word is evidence. For the word is life. For your word is life. For your word is life. Tonight, let your word become evidence. Let your word be established. In the name of Jesus, I cause every power tonight that want to hijack your word from our lips. In every situation that, that stands as disastrous, Lord, we speak your word to that situation. Let your word command them to bow. In the name of Jesus, I command every situation to bow. In the name of Jesus. <clears throat> For you said in your word, the entrance of your word, Bring it life, give it life, give it understanding, give it the simplicity of heart. Tonight I speak your word to every situation in that man's life, in that woman's life. Let your word bring hope, let your word bring deliverance, let your word bring healing tonight. In the name of Jesus, I break every embargo, every cost that have been caused, every word that have been released as a cost. Against your people tonight, 
I don't care where they lay the cause. It could be in the cemetery. It could be in the graveyard. It could be in the witchcraft coven. It could be in the wizard coven. It could be in the emiric coven. Wherever your name were invoked, wherever your name has been invoked to be placed as a cause, tonight I revoke those causes. Ah, he said, cause not the ones that the Lord has not caused. According to Balaam and Balak, the Bible said Balaam called Balak to come and cause to come and curse for the ones the Lord has blessed. And he told Balak, the Lord has not, the Lord has not cursed them. And Balak told Balak, he said, for the Lord has not cursed. Ah, God can never allow me to curse them because God has blessed them. Instead of him to curse them, he started blessing them. I reverse the case tonight that the enemy that want to curse you, they are cursed from their mouth we turn to blessing. They are caused from their home. We turn to blessing. They are caused in that fog junction. We turn to blessing. They are caused in the covenant tonight. We turn to blessing in the name of Jesus. For the Bible says, as many that cause you shall be caused, as many that blesses you shall be blessed. Tonight I revoke every cause. Tonight I convert every cause to become blessing in the name of Jesus, Lord. I speak to that river that the enemy has set aside to flow away the blessings of your children. I command the river to dry up tonight. I speak to that river to dry up. In the name of Jesus, spiritual vehicles that are assigned by a spiritual driver to drive and to carry the blessing that you have allayed, that you have arranged for us in the year 2020. I command the vehicle to catch fire. I command the driver to die on the stairway while we offload that our blessings in the name of Jesus. Father, be glorified, be exalted, be magnified, for you are our king, you are our body bearer, you are our saint bearer, you are our future, you are our today, you are our king, you are our bread of life, you are our evidence of our living. Thank you, Father, because our hope for tomorrow is you. Thank you, Jesus, because you are the fountain of life. You are the bread of life. You are the rock of ages. You are the beginning. You are the end. You are the alpha. You are the omega. You are the evidence of our existence. Thank you. Glory, honor be unto you. Father, you are our glory. You are our glory. You are our glory. You are our provider. You are our future. You are the author of our life. Thank you, Jesus, because you reign it. And because you reign it, we shall reign with you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, because you are our provider. You are the pathfinder of life. You are the sheep of our pastor. You are our refuge. You are our fortress. You are our banner. Thank you tonight because your banner over our life is love. Hallelujah. Mandi Gadabala. Melegedegede. You are our banner. You are our sheet. You are our buckler. Yekelua Gada. Indubala. You are our sword of weapon. You are our sword of battle. Kerigada. Shogadagada. Ligudagade. Legodo. Jagadagada. Malugada Gugada. Legude Gedegede. Legwada. La gude gede, araga du gada, godo godo bolo godo, ede gede, edi gada, ida la bagada, le gede, le guada gada, edu gede zia gada, balaga de gede. I silent every voices. I silent the voices of the act evil one, the antichrist, the antichrist. I silent his voice tonight in the name of Jesus. Malaga de le gede, touch not my anointed. The thus see the Lord. Anyone you want to use tonight as chicken, you shall touch them no more. They shall be immediately transformed to humans in the name of Jesus. Wherever do you invoke their spirit, I command their spirit, I command their soul, I command their lives to go back into their bodies right now. Wherever you invoke their souls, I command the bodies, I command the soul of that man, I command the soul of that woman, I command the soul of that child, go back to the body right now. Go back by fire. 
go back by fire. Let the lightning of the Lord strike wherever they padlock you, wherever they cage you, wherever they lock you, wherever they place rock on your soul. I remove that rock right now. I command that rock to be lifted. I command the prison to be broken. I command the padlock to be broken. I command the rope or the chain that they used to tie you to a tree to be broken right now. Why your soul go back to your body where you are lying down tonight. In the name of Jesus, I command your soul, you boy, you girl, you child, wherever they have taken you to, into the spirit world, to be slaughtered like an animal, to eat your flesh, to drink your blood. I say tonight, they can't touch your body, they can't drink your flesh. I command you, I drink your blood. I take I take authority from above. I command your soul right now, wherever it's caged, wherever it's locked up, wherever it's padlocked, let your soul go back to your body right now where you are sleeping. No matter the distance where they took you from, I command you right now, let your soul, the Lord release your soul back into your bodies tonight. Hallelujah. Madigadosh. Kedegede. Legede. Legudegede. Edabalagadegede. Lebogodo. Melegedegede. Logodiaza. Wherever they invoke your name, wherever they call your name tonight, I ask that the name of Jesus answer for your sake, for your children's sake, for your husband and your wife's sake. In the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus shall answer. In the name of Jesus, my lakwade, lakwade, lekwada la manda, and dubala sugade, aduabala gade. Jesus, release your wind of glory tonight. Release your fire tonight. Release your fire tonight. For in Jesus' miraculous name, I pray. Amen and amen. People of God, I want you to know tonight there is something that has happened in the realms of the spirit. Your physical eyes might not see it. Your physical understanding might not know it. But I'm here. I'm glad to tell you tonight there is a minus already in the kingdom of darkness. There is a minus. What is that minus? You are your household. You are the minus. You are the minus from the kingdom of darkness. You are the minus. Why you go back to be a plus in the kingdom? Kingdom of God. There is a strong minus. There is a minus. There is a minus. There is a minus. There is a minus. God has minus your name from the kingdom of darkness. The devil has nothing to do about it. The kingdom of powers of darkness has nothing to do about it. They cannot stop God. God is in action tonight. Edugada, Eduaba, Lizagade. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, the move of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Because there shall be performance. There shall be answers to our prayers tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, people of God, tonight. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Mandugada balagade. Edubologos kedi abasugada bolos. Thank you, Jesus. Because... You will testify. You will surely testify. Just believe by faith. You are going to testify. You as your household, you will testify. For this month is your month. It is your season. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Hope to see you again later today. May the power of God, may the strength of Jehovah become your strength. Tonight, I celebrate with you. I rejoice with you. Because God has done something great in your life. And you will never remain the same. God bless you. Hope to see you again later today. On this same platform. Where we come out to pray. And seek the face of God. God bless you. Keep shining. Keep raining. Keep soaring high. And keep becoming an evidence for Jesus. God bless you.